okay. Hamevi get vi nicho zokein. The person was a puppy, a shliach, and the person who gave the get, he was an old man. So the question is, what happens if he dies before the get arrives? The get has no value. We speak the whole question. The whole, right? Let's say, let's say he was childless and he had a surviving brother. So if, the, if he dies before that, she falls to Yibum. So now the question is, what's the presumption? There's a cheskes chayv. We can presume he's still, even though he, when, she, when he left the man, he was old. The, the presumption he's still alive, and therefore the gets again. Ochole. What about his ochole? So maybe he died at the time. No slob cheskes The presumption is he gives the get. We'd have to be concerned. Same situation. Abbas was married to a Kohen and the husband went overseas. Now the question is, maybe something happened to him overseas. Right? You don't have to worry, maybe he died. We're speaking about which has no children. If she has children from the Kohen, she continues to eat even if she's widowed. But let's say she has no children. The Kohen should die. She's not permitted to eat Shuma because she only eats as the Kohen's wife. Now what's the halacha chatos? Let's say a person consecrates an ola shlavim and the person dies. He bring it even after after he dies. What about a chatos, a sin offering? The halacha, the Torah says, halacha l'mshibshine, the animal is not permitted to be brought, it dies. You let the thing die. So let's say a person sends his chatos medina sayam and he sends the animal. So you bring the do you bring the animal? What happens by the time it arrives? The person who sent it died. A person dies, you don't bring his chatos. Right, but here... So we have three cases. You have the case of the get, you have the case of the truma, and you have the case of the chatos. Three cases. Similarly, what do we need? Three cases. If, you, if the Mishnah is saying you rely on chasoka, or cheskes chai, the presumption he's alive, so the same principle applies to everyone in the situation. We'll see. Omerova loshana elo bzoki shugiel gvuros. Here, a person already reached 80 years old. Because a person reaches 80, you know, based on the actuary tables for insurance, when you hit 80, the like, life expectancy goes beyond. And this, it's a different life expectancy, see. So Rava says, it's the only person, excuse me, it's the other way. That he didn't hit 80. He didn't hit 80. Because hit 80 already, you don't know. And he's ill. Let's say a person's on his deathbed. He already has indications. It's just a question of moments before he dies. He gave a get. He's on a respirator. You understand? Absolutely. Now, that's, that's not simple because already we have reason to believe. It's, it, it's very, he's going to be sh- 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 the short period he's going to die. Why? Because we have a rove. Rove cholim, don't die. Hear this? Rove cholim, l'chaim. Most people who are ill recover. So you have a right to rely on rove. Avazok shigil l'gvuros. Vagoseis. Shirov goselmi. So... Low majority of ghosts, people already there have indications that they're nearing the end due to the illness. Therefore, you, you cannot give the get. Eisrei Abaye, maybe get I feel ben shona. You this? The man was a hundred years old. Hundred year old man sent to get overseas. No siloch becheskas shukayim tiuftos. It seems to be what Rav is refuted. Here it says that even he's a hundred years old. You go. The is like similar to what I said. I mean, once you reach that age, there's an open road all the way, right? If you just reach 80, it's questionable how much further you can go. But once you pass a certain point, then you soar. Now, this is Abayi's asking Rabba, not Rava, right? Rava. Our Mishnah, right, says that if he leaves him, he's old or he's not well, he gives the get, it is a chazoka, the presumption is he's, he's alive. Ramino Areza Gitek Shahas Kodun Lisa also, the man says, he gives a get to his wife, it should take effect a, a, a moment before he dies. Okay? So good. So now you have a chazoka, correct? So you have a chazoka, so if you have a chazoka, she should be, even though he says it should take effect a moment before he dies, we should say, it just keeps going, because the presumption is still alive. She's not permitted to immediately. But I, there's a chazoka. Right? You mean, you ask a question from truma gidin, truma efsher, efsher, get low efsher? Meaning, truma, you know something? No, she does not eat truma. But get, it's a question, is she married? Is she not married? Right? 
Leos Dizon Bechulin, Gedlo Epshel, Mecha Shel Misel, Ochaisha, meaning where we can be Machme or Machme. So by Truma Machme, by Gedlo, there's no choice. Rami Truma Truma, he says, what about Truma? Tanan Bas Yisrael, Nisul Lekoi, Volach Bail, Medin Sayyam. A, a woman who's married to a Kohen, she's a Bas Yisrael, she can only eat Truma because the husband is a Kohen. Okay. He goes overseas, Ochel is Bechruma, Cheskushu Kayom. So she continues to eat Truma, the presumption he's alive, or a Minu. Hareza gita shvar has called misa also asur lechol b'truma miyad immediately. Aid is a chazoka. The presumption is that she's alive. He's alive. Omer rabba the braid of Rav Yitzchok shani hosam sheri also all of shvar has called misa also. Hear this. Eventually he's going to die. You don't know when he's going to die. See, if the question, if he died, did he die yet? He didn't die yet. So she eats truma. But here he said it should take effect to get a moment before he dies. Maybe this is the moment before. So that's always a sophic. Right? You understand? As she permitted to eat Truma now, the presumption he was alive a moment he's still alive. Let's say we continue with the Chazoka. He was alive, still alive. But he says it's take effect a moment before he dies. So maybe this moment he, he is alive. But maybe this is the moment before he's going to die. Right. No. No, it's perfect. The get take effect a moment before he it has to take effect before he dies. Oh, Once he dies, he can't give a get. She falls to Yibum. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's very clear. It's a conditional future statement. No, 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 no. There's a regular tonight. There's a regular tonight. It's not Brayra. There's not Brayra. So, but let's, let's make it clear. It's very simple. Are you permitted to eat Truma now? The answer is yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Give me the box of tissues. Maybe ask him to go in the office. Sorry? This person at the end of the table. Let me sit in the over there. <laughs> okay. Mask of the Rav Popa, me my, do you, my is Beresha, deal me eBay, me is Beresha. So you never get out of this, that you always have a moment before, a moment before. So how do you deal with that? Second. Second. <laughs> no, if it's it no, but either way, either way, either way. It's true. It's true. <coughs> but the Misha's not discussing that. Misha's talking about could she eat truma? Does she fall to Yibum? She doesn't fall to Yibum. She's permitted to eat truma. Right? Goes overseas. Okay, so tomorrow, tomorrow asks, Master of Popov, me my, the you my inspiration? No, no, it's fine. It's just like an allergic or something. Deal me, eat my inspiration. What, what's the most question? What's the most question over here? What, what relevance? Maybe she may die first. Therefore, what? <laughs> So what's, I mean, what's the, what's the question? What's the question? The question like, cause if even what is it, why does she explain what's the question? If she dies first and they send a kid, it doesn't, it's irrelevant. No, so what's, what's, what's the question? Exactly. She, factually, she receives the get. Now the question is, is he still alive? So good to see it. It's a chazoka. What do you mean she may die first? She may then the whole thing is out of the hook. Exactly. So what's the word? What, what? Well, how does he explain the last question?
Apparently, Gamara is as follows. Even if we set aside any legal concern, the husband might die. The woman must stop the control of the bride's estate. No, no. It says, who said he died first? Maybe she'll die first. So if she dies first, it's not relevant. What's, what's the question? Yeah. You see, the, the, the first wide line. Before, before I buy answers. Maybe she'll die for what means. What, she died for, so what's the rel what relevance does it have to anything? No, what's the qu I don't hear the question. What's the question? So it says, uh, what uh, Adai's, Rabbi Adai's uh, answer has been refuted. Abai's question reasserts itself. Apparently, there is a contradiction between <laughs> the Mishnah and the Brisa as to whether uh, we are concerned about the possibility of the husband's death. The Gemara now presents several resolutions. No, what's, the, what's, what's Rav Puppet's question? Rav Puppet says, Me my, do you may my sabresha, do me my sabresha. He may die first. Therefore, and if, he, if she dies first, Right. Right. What do you mean, right? What that's, are you writing? That's ex exactly the way you're saying it. It says the Bryson will know. No, but Rob Ra Ra is asking a question. Rather, uh, challenges the answer. I don't get it. I don't get it. What makes you think that the husband will necessarily die first? No, what's Sanoa saying? He says, uh, uh, he says he should take effect a moment before, uh, before he dies. Right, so he but that's a possibility. Right, but he says, why would you think that he's going to die first before the wife so that the get will best but it's still this, But that's still a question. It may be a moment before he dies. So, so he answers, perhaps she'll Forget die about first, the and then that the husband, uh, that'll never take effect. In the preceding paragraph, it says, you see it now, this assertion of Rabbi Ida is questionable. Right. He said, is it of course possible the wife will yeah. die before her husband? In that case, would get would never take effect. And there's been no point at which Truman became forbidden to Exactly. Her. Yeah, but I understand the Why question. This will be the Gemara's next question. Yeah, but factually, it's possible that he may die first. Right. It's true, but factually, he may die first. So what's the question? Mm -hmm. This woman will certainly be forbidden to Truman at some point during her husband's life, the last one of it. Uh, right. Ada, she must stop eating Truman, even if we set aside the concern the husband might die, because she cannot know when that moment will come. Right. Given this, the principle of the law, I'm concerned that the possibility of death is irrelevant if she must stop eating Truman immediately. Elom Rabbi, look how Shahor Rabbi, the Lochai Shlemiso. Coiter May, he's not concerned about death, about dying, period. Therefore, what? Therefore, she continued eating Truma. Rabbi Yudachai Shlemiso did not know. Lechiachem, you've been a Kusim. You hear this? We had this before. A person purchases wine from Kusim, so they don't tithe. They don't tithe the Kusim. Omashne, Lugashne, Yosel Afrish. Harehi, Truma. Two lugan that I will take will take after Shabbos, this should be Truma. Asura my Sarisha and Tisha my Sushani. We had this before. Mechel, Vishoisa, Miyad, and you redeem the my Sushani, you drink it immediately. Divra Mayor. What, what's the question? That's you concern maybe the barrel burst. Right? Then right? he's not doesn't doesn't worry about these things. The barrel's intact, the presumption is going to remain intact. The person's alive, the presumption is going to remain alive. Rebu the Rebyosi, Reb Shimon Oshin. They say it's not permitted. Yeah. Why? Because the barrel may burst. So the same thing. Just as over there we find machloks and my concern, the barrel may burst. At a verse, what does that mean? No, wait, wait, wait. If it bursts, that's Igloi Milslam Afre, if you Brero. So retroactively, it, it indicates it was never meant to be tithed. Mm -hmm. Ramirez says, I'm not worried about it. Right now, the barrel's intact. The presumption is going to remain intact. Mm -hmm. So the same thing. Rova Omar. Rova says, Shem Meslo Chashin, Shem Yomis Chashin. Very simple. If it's a question, did he die? That I suppose he didn't yes. die. Will he die? This may be the moment before he's going to die. Amale Ravada Barbasla Rova. That's what Rova says. Ivo no de Sheme Shemi Yomosu. Hear this? He says, How could you say that Shemi Yomus, even if you hold Chazoka, Shemi Yomus Chaishina on the case of the barrel? The barrel may break. Right. Upaligi, and we find some achloks or mayor in there. Omer of Adam, Omer reviewed Yudah, be discouraged. Shiny, noy, the Efshid, the Moselay, the Shemir. Main operate. A person ultimately will die. Right? Barrel. If you barrels watch very carefully, it's not going to break. Right. So therefore, there's never a moment. I have to be worried. Mask of Laura, Misharsha, Arvach, the Arvach Tzorich. Hear this? He says, your, your guarantor needs a guarantor. You say, because you can appoint a Shomir. But what happens if the Shomer somehow dozes off? So there's no guarantees on anything. Elama Rovo, Shema Mes, Lo Chayshinon. Shema Yomos Tanoi. Shema Mes, in the past, 
we're not worried. Did he die? There's Chazoka. But if it's a moment before, before if the gags take effect a moment before he dies, this may be the moment before, because everybody eventually is going to die. That's a machlokis. Hashleich chatos medinas hayam. A person sends his chatos from overseas, so the Mishnah says you permit it to be makrevit. Why? Because there's a chazok, he's alive, so it's not chatos of mesos. I will be in a tzmicha, kval de kakasha. How do you bring a chatos? The chatos needs tzmicha, and we'll see them with tzmicha, you can't do it with a shliach. Tzmicha is what is it's mitzvah shibagufo. Amar of Yosef, the korban noshim. Here? Korban of a woman. A woman doesn't do tzmicha. Only man does tzmicha. Rav Papa, I'm a chatosof. Again, chatosof doesn't need tzmicha. Only an animal has tzmicha. A bird doesn't have tzmicha. Tzmicha. The ash we need get. Now, of course, what do we need? We have three cases. We have get, we have truma, and we have chatos. If we go after chazok, after cheskes chai, we've already stated it. You apply to every one. Why does the Mishnah have to flesh out every one of the cases? Mm-hmm. Right? The ash we need get, Mishum blue efsher, because she won't be able to get married otherwise. Avo truma efsher. She can eat chulin. Who says she has to eat truma? Right, so maybe we should be machmir and not rely on chazaka. Same although, yes, we truma the zim lo evsher because what happens if she's stuck without food? Avochatos of misveiko lo leochun lazoro. Chatos of comes on a sofik. You can even bring on a sofik. Maybe you know something. In this situation, right? Maybe you shouldn't because it's chun lazoro. Because if he died, sricha. Therefore, right? Therefore, you need all three cases. Further, Shloshet Dvorim Omer Reb Lozim Ben Prot Al Fili Chachom. Reb Lozim Ben Prot said three things before the Chachomim. The Kim was Dvorov Al Irshi Kifu Karkum Goyim Leitzit Leitzit on the city. Okay, while Sfina Am Tores Biyam, there's a ship that was listing at sea. So the question is, the people on the boat died. While Yotzi Lidon, the person's going out, he's going to the gallows. You hear this? A person's yeah. going to the gallows, the yeah. cities, they laid siege goyim, that means <coughs> they kill everybody in the city. A, a, a ship is listing at the sea. Shei mecheskes kayom. In every one of the cases, we say, until we know the man's dead, he's alive. Abel the Yishikov, Shul Karakom, what about who's conquered? It's not that he just lead siege, right? But they actually, they conquer it. They go in, they masquerade everybody. Usfinish of the Bayam, the ship went down, right? By Yosi Liorig, a man's not just going out to be judged. Liorig, he's going no, this is, he's going to the gallows. He's going to the guillotine. No chumri chumri meisim. this. We don't say he's definitely dead, but he's not definitely alive. It's a suffix. because a person who goes down in the sea, maybe he survived. Right. A person who's going to the gallows, you never know the last moment they could have stayed the execution. Right. right. Every one of these cases, the case where they went in, even though they masqueraded people in the community, yeah. maybe somebody could have lived. Somebody could have lived. Yeah. So if that's the case, Bas Yisrael le Kohen, or Bas Kohen Yisrael, lo solch ve truma, regardless. If a Bas Yisrael marries a Kohen, why should permit it to eat truma? Because her husband's a Kohen. Yeah. What happens if he was killed? So yeah. therefore we give it to Chumra. She's yeah. not. What about if she's a, a Bas Kohen and marries Yisrael also? As long as she's married to Yisrael, she's not permitted. Right. If he's alive, it's a problem. Therefore we give to Chumra. Both of them neither are permitted to eat truma, because either he's alive or he's dead. We said if he's going to be judged until... He's Becheskes Chai. Right. No, he's Becheskes Chai. Right. Right. right? But if he's right. going to be, go to the gallows, right. then it's a suffix if he's alive. Omer Rav Yosel Lashon El Bezen Shel Yisrael. That's only if it's a Jewish court. A Jewish court, he's going to be judged. He may have been judged innocently. A person has a Cheskes Kashras. Av Bezen Shel of Gilchovim. But a person, a Bezen of Goyim, came on the Gomale Dino Likatola. If they gave a Psak that he's going to be killed, Mik the cut. There's no way to get out. In a bezin shel Yisrael, the last minute they could come up. If there's any schus, they stay the execution. Bezin shel Akum, if the judgment is is a guillotine, he's definitely going to. There's no way he's not going to the guillotine. He's definitely going to be mur- killed. Omele Abaye bezin shel Gochov Nami the Mkabli What are you talking about? There's uh, there's no such thing. That you can't extricate yourself. You could you could bribe the guy. You could bribe the executioner, bribe the judge. So even if he's going the last moment, you could be you could be pulled. Omalek Yishakli Mikabi Lach to Pursi. Shanmag. Meaning, once, you know, it's like you have radar. Once that, that radar locks you in, the, the cop says, I can't let you go. Because it's on record. The moment they write the document of execution, they got to carry out. Even the execution judge can't take, can't take bribery. Kishakli Mikami Lach to Pursi Shanmag. Labosa Demechta Pursi Shanmag. Once they write that document that he has to be killed, Loshakli, they're not going to take it. So, if we speak Bezni Shalakum, 
right? The regular non-Jewish court, they already wrote the document, it's over. One second. Okay. <clears throat> One second. Loshem Parsi who psakdin Shanga means it's, it's a, a document which, which gives the, the verdict. Meisvei. Right? It says, Komokshi Amdu Shnaim. We, two people, we, we attest to the fact, Esishploni, Uploshni, Badinu Bezni Shoploni, Uploni Bulni Edov. Hareze Yehorek. So over there, what do we say? We say over there, he's not. Hareze Yehorek, Almalo Amina Shema Motzo Luschus. So he died. No, 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 no. We put him to death. But two witnesses saw him being put to death. No, 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 no. Now we saw him. No, two witnesses said, we we give we attest to the fact so and so it was Nigma Dino Bezneshel Ploni Ploni, Adov, Hareze. No, you put him to death, and we're not afraid somebody may come and be in Lamet Luschus on him. You don't wait. You put him to death immediately. One second. We put him to death. If there's a chance somebody may come in, you know, maybe we should, we should stay execution. Wait. On that, Gemara says, Dilma Barech Shiny. Quite, what, 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 what's Dilma Berech Shani? He may have fled. He may have fled from the Bezdin. No, no, no. Like this. If you t we say somebody's is Yotzi Lee Horeg, even Bezdin Shal Shal, you put him. What, what do we say? We assume he's dead. It says over there. He ran away. Well, no, 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 no. It says if they tested the fact that a man was judged. He caught him. Yeah, what happened? Right. So we see, you see, that he necessarily didn't die. Okay. So now that more says, Dilma Barer Shani. If we know he fled, and the court witnesses said we saw he was judged, so on as that, we put him to death. Okay. We're not speaking initially. No. Initially, whatever it is. We, of course we put him to death. Here the Chiddush is that it's possible he fled. But do we assume, or we, do we suspect the person fled? No. The person's going to be judged, he's going to be killed, finished. That case over there speaking about Borech Shani, when he fled, that's what he had to offer that kind of testimony. Okay? Toshma. Shomei Bezin Shal Shosha Omrim Ishploni Mes Ishploni Nerag. The Bezin said so and so was, died, so and so was killed. Yasi was Ishto. They were permitted to marry off his wife. Here? The court. Shomei Bezin Shal Yisrael Shal Omrim Ishploni Mes Ishploni Nerag Yisrael Ishto. Mikum. Not three sishel of gochovim. What about it from the court, the the uh, the the magistrates in the court? If they would say ishploni mes ishploni nerek al yisiu sishto, you can't, you can't trust what they say. We just finished saying by bezin shall shall what's his name? The goyim. There it is. Yeah, Once yeah, the yeah. document's written, it's 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 a fita right. complete. My mess, my nerek ilim mess mess mamish nerek nerek mamish to gavus gavus gochovim. So well, why are we differentiating? I mean, if it's on record, the man was put to death. So why? Am I al shuishto? Why? Why can't you marry his wife? We say even even it's not within an official context. In passing, they say, by the way, you know something? Someone was killed by the court. Even that is enough to, to yeah. his wife's permit to remarry. It doesn't mean he mess. He was going to be executed. 
Nerag Yosli Horeg. Uktani Bezen Shel Yisrael Yasi Yisishto. Wait, and it says, so we have, it says, Bezen so you're permitted. We just finished saying, by Yosli Horeg, we just finished saying that. <laughs> Since they may leave, be Melamed Tzchus, you know it? We're just saying, if a person is going to be executed, Bezen Shel Yisrael, you cannot marry his wife. Because maybe the last moment, somebody was Melamed Tzchus. Right. By, by Goyim, it's yes. over. And he was saying, by, was saying that what? The opposite. Lola mes 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 mamish nerug mamish kamit the kavosi kavukochovim. So what does it mean? By the Jewish court, what do we say? Mes means he was killed. He was he was he was he died. And what does it mean? The kavosi kavukochovim. My oh, so why not? So why is the Jewish court believed? Something that has no relevance. Mils to shaychli avdi larzukish shakrayu. You hear this? Let's say Goy is telling you a tall tale, whatever it may be, has no relevance to him, he has no reason to lie. And he's saying it only in passing. So we say, if he intermingles information, we, we accept that information as being valid. But let's say he's speak, speaking as a magistrate, and he's like, you know, we killed this one, we killed that. You never know, he can be exaggerating. He, this old Lazuki Shikrai, he's only coming to empower his Sheker. Rashi says. There's another version. We say, even if they pass judgment, he may not be killed. Because we said before, he could be bribed. But a Bezen Shel Yisrael, if a person is going to be caved enough, once they gave the verdict to be put to death, they're putting him to death. Why? Maybe the last moment, maybe they found the schus. They only find the schus, that's before they give the verdict. Once they give the, the verdict, they don't look for a schus any longer. Yeah. Until they give the verdict, you know, they take a head count. They, what do you say? Innocent. But until that point, they tell the judges, who the Dayan will sit on the bezin, they can't leave a stone unturned, they have to find a schus for the person. But once the time has run out, they say, okay, now it's time to give the verdict, they don't look for schus any longer. Here. The verse says, let's bring a proof. Right? We say he's killed. So what do you see? You see, you don't learn schus. Dilma Berev Shiny. Over there, it's speaking about they were about to execute him, and he fled. But in terms of just giving up sock, maybe what? Maybe we still look for schus afterwards. Toshma Shomei Bezin Shel Yisrael Shai Omni Ploni Ish Ploni Mes Ish Ploni Nerag. They heard from a Jewish court so and so died, so and so was killed. You see, Sishto, marry immediately. Mikum Mikum Matrisim Shalok from the magistrate. Go non Jewish magistrate, Ishploi Mes Ishploni Nerak, Ali Sil Ishto. My mess my nera. What does it mean he died or he was killed? Ile Mes Mishum Mamosh, he died. Nerak Mamish means he was killed, the Kavoski of Kochovim. Am I serious Ishto? Why? If the Goisha magistrate said he died, Hokaimo we probably rule, Komisir Fituma Hamnun Mehemdi would like when a person says any information in passing, we believe even a goy. Mes means he's going to be. He's going to be killed. Yotzei lomus v'nerag yotzli horig uktani bezin shel Yisrael yasi usishto. It's only a Jewish court and not a goyish court. So the question is why not? Lo ola mes mami yishnerag mams kavosi kavukochav mamei lo hakaimel on chomisir v'tu mehem nu mehem ne hani milu bilus lo shchayachi bei. Why do we believe mesir v'tu by a goy that something that has no relevance? Avu milsa the shchayachi bo, but something that's his profession. I'll give you an example. Abdi Larzugi Shakra, I'll give you an example. Person's a, a salesman. A salesman. What does he tell you? And he's away for three months. He comes back, tells you all this, his experiences on the road. Right? 90% are exaggerated. So there, but he, 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 in, in passing, he said a lot of things. You can't believe it. Because it's all just to empower himself, only to ingratiate himself. But let's say he's talking about whatever he's talking about. A guy he's telling you, by the way, did you hear this event? And in passing, he tells you, and by the way, going there, a Jew was shot and killed. That's what the Goy says. You, you believe the Goy? Because that event, the, goy, the Jew being killed on the way, has no relevance to what he's talking about. 
Therefore, we give value to that and we'll allow the woman to, to marry based on that information which is clearly not intentionally being related. Okay. I may be get bear to soil. Bechola. Yeah. Persons bring a get. He's a shliach. And all of a sudden, as a shliach, he got sick at halfway. So what does he have to do? The only one who could appoint, who could deliver again is who? Is only the husband. Yeah. So the shliach, being appointed the shliach, was the group, he, but he got sick. So what does the shliach do now to be responsible? The question is, can he appoint can the shliach? That's what we're talking about. Bechola hareze biyadach. He appoints another shliach. And the, his agent, because he's the husband, so he's authorized, his, his response is to make sure to get the, gets to the woman that she should be divorced. Right. So within appointing him to be the agent, he has the, he's authorized to appoint an agent if he's not able to do it himself. What about, he says, I want you to take a specific object from her, right? When you give it again, I want you to take... When you give it a get, she's going to give you two hundred dollars cash. Okay. You can't. The money cannot be sent. He cannot give the get because the get is being given on a condition that she would give something of value. She ain't return. She picked on biyarachir. Hear this? Is the second joint return? No, we're talking about two different things. Man, the man says, "I want you to deliver a get." He gets sick. He appoint another shliach in his place. What about the, when he was going to deliver the get? She was going to give him something of value. Is the first shliach? First shliach. He, then he can't appoint. Why? Because the husband says, you know something, to deliver it is one thing, but to take some value, I have to trust the man. Do I, do I know who, who you're going to appoint? No. So since I may not trust that person, you're not authorized to appoint the person to deliver the get because it's contingent on taking something. And that person may not be what? Trustworthy enough that he should take what I want him to take. So you could trust the person, but not actually have number two. No, that that he appointed him, that means he clearly implicitly entrusts him. He trusts him. Right? But now he gets sick. The first shlich gets sick. In that situation, could he point to shlich? He can't. Because, because it's conditional on receiving something. Yeah. It says in the Mishnah, if he became ill, the agent becomes ill, he could appoint another shlich. Pshita. So what's the Kiddush? Right? Omer of Kana No, wait, wait a second. Rav Khan said, when it says in the Mishnah that he coined an agent, it's because he was sick. He got sick. Mm -hmm. What about the guy who all of a sudden he got a call, he has to go home for a bris? Could he point another agent? Is it only specifically Cholo? Mm -hmm. He became ill? Or he was incapacitated? Or let's say he had something else. Mm -hmm. He says, you know, something came up, I can't deliver it. Is he authorized to appoint the Shlech in a situation where he can carry through, but he chooses not to? So Rav Khan says, no, Cholo It says in only where it was something he had no, he was not able to deliver it. It's more says, Pshita. It says in the Mishnah, Cholok. Right? Pshita, Cholok, Tony. What's Rav Khan Khan tell me a Kiddush? It says, Cholok. Only in situation where he becomes ill, he's incapacitated. Mal the same, who had the Navagavad, Lo Cholok. I'll tell you, maybe Cholok is just an example. But maybe even if he didn't become ill. Vaidik, Tony, Cholok, or Chenemilsik, Tony. It's telling you the usual situation. When is it, what's the usual situation where the Shlech can't deliver? He's incapacitated. But maybe, in truth, he's authorized, regardless of why he can't deliver it. He has the, uh, he's authorized to appoint another shliach. Kamash Malan, no. It's only if he becomes incapacitated, that's when the husband is agreeable that he can appoint another shliach. But if he could carry through, he chooses not to, then he's what? He's not authorized to appoint another shliach. What exactly did the husband say to this shliach? If he says, I want you to take it. From the word You should take it. You means you and no one else. If that was the term he used. So if that's the case, even if he's not cholo. Vidomale atolech. Excuse me. Idomale holech avagav lo He says, take the get. That means deliver it. So even the vidomale atolech. What is the at? The word at is a proof. I want you to deliver it. So of course, if he becomes sick, he can't. So if that's kafil cholo nami, lo. But if it's you and no one else, it's even at. Right? Even sick. And it's going like Rav Shimon Galil. Even, even, Afil Chol Nami Lo, the Tai Holech gets Elish. If man says, I want you to give this get to my wife, Hareza Mishal to be Yaracher. At Holech gets Elish, Hareza Lo Yishlech be Yaracher. 
Shemulov, Beikach, Beikach, and Shlichos Shlich, under no circumstances. Ain't Shlichos Shlich. You have the Shlich, a Shlich is not authorized to make another Shlich, even if the husband authorizes it. A Shlich cannot make a Shlich. Ibo say Maholech, who the Cholo? Either he said Holech and he became ill. Ibo say Mo At Holech, the Cholo, shiny. Even when he says At, At means when he insists you, which indicates you and nobody else. That's only if you're able to deliver it. Mm-hmm. But let's say factually he's incapacitated. The Chacham say, even if you say at, the husband's, husband's agreeable mm-hmm. that the Shliach could appoint the Shliach. Ibo say, Rav Shim Li. I'll tell you, it's going to Rav Shim Gam Liel. I, Rav Shim Liel says, you can never make a Shliach. A Shliach can never make a Shliach. Chol shiny. That's only if, if conceivably he could do it himself. But if it's if impossible, Chol shiny Tanana. Maybe get better. It's Yisrael v'chol our Mishnah. Person who's again erit soul, he becomes ill. Harezim shall be aracher. Says he could appoint another shliach. Uraminu omel shnaim to get lishti. Person says to two people, I want you to deliver. Get to my wife, right? Oh shlosha. Or he says to three, kisu get. Right again to tun lishti. Really yichtu yitnu. This is three of the best or just? He says to three, I want you to write it. All three have. Harei elu yichtu yitnu. In a way, it says they write it and they give it. But the question is, if he pointed the shliach, why can't they write? Omer by Hosam, Hosam, Omer by Hosam, time and mind, you shouldn't be bizarre in the bow. Hoch about lo kopit. Yeah. It says they must give it. If he says to two or to three, they must do it, they can't appoint another one. Avo shliach lo. Shiny hosam, hosam time of mishum, mishum zum the baal hochalu. It's because of the disgrace. The husband will be disgraced. Rega. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on over here? It says, Avol Shliach Lo. See, if he says to three, we're a Bezdin, a Bezdin could appoint somebody. No, if he says to two or three, Kisvu Tenu, right, they could do it. Kisvu Tenu, Lishta Re, Liech of Yitnu. Inu, Ein, Avol Shliach Lo. They, if it's three, a Bezdin, they're authorized. But an individual, not. Why? You say to a shlit, I want you to write and give a get. What does that mean? He's illiterate. He's illiterate. He can't write to get himself. But he says, write and give. So what is it? He doesn't want, want word to get out that, he, that he's right. illiterate. So it, it's, it's you and I don't want anybody else. Okay. That's the reason. If he says to a court, a court, he understands when you tell the court, the court is authorized to do whatever they want. Right. But if you tell an individual not... In our situation, the Baal is not Makvid. Why is he not Makvid? Rega. The Mai Kapei the Iko. Here he says, just give it. We, we, we didn't say right to get. In our situation, he says, I want you to deliver again. There he says, kiss me. Right to get and give it. So t- t- it, should be, it should be revealed. He's illiterate. That, that's, 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 that's an embarrassment. But if he says, give the get, and the, he gets sick. The Shliach. What, what's the embarrassment? A man doesn't necessarily give the get himself. He does it through a shliach. So now that the shliach has to appoint a third party, there's no bizarre. There's no disgrace to the husband. Rav Ava Mishum Demidli Nil. It's famous. The Gemara in the next paragraph. It's a question of words. Umilu Mishum Shliach. Mili, hear this. You can only appoint a shliach if we're talking about you give him an object. But here, it's authorizing. You have to appoint the person to authorize him to do something. Okay. It's a, we'll see. It's not simple. It's very complicated. Mili means words. Mili, words cannot be given. In, in, in instruction cannot be given over to Shliach. Rashi says, Rega. Yeah. Hosem hain taimid lo mashu Shliach shlo moslem el dvorim. Vein dvorim koach lios chosem nimsarm lacher. I say to you, I want you to be my agent to deliver to deliver a get. Right. So what establishes the person to deliver to get? 
the, it's the appointment ship. Right. Because you have to be the husband. <coughs> right? If you're not the husband, you can't, you can't do it. Okay. Now, you're going to appoint another shliach for whatever reason. The shliach is what is he going? He's giving over, he's giving over the instruction. From the wow. instruction can only be given from the husband. Right. Even though the shlich is the equivalent of the husband, words cannot be given over a second time. Right, right. If I give you an object, I say, give, take this object, give to so-and-so. You, say, you don't have to be authorized. Okay. To be the husband, you have to be authorized to be the husband. So how do you become the husband? He, he says, I want you to be me, to Good. deliver the get. But how do you become the husband? Through the appointment ship. If you say, I want you to take this money and pay a loan for me with my, the money I give you. Even not a shlich, you get paid a loan. You don't have to be a, he happens to be a shlia, but let's say he can't pay the loan and he appoints a third party to deliver it. Okay. How does the third party... No, because he doesn't have to be the husband. He right. could take that money and pay the same loan. Right. Okay. okay. What about if you make a shlia to deliver a gift? A gift, you don't have to be the person. Let's see, Rashi. A fluked Rav Shmuel, Rav Matona ain't no get. Rav says Matona is not a get. Give a gift, Shmuel, Rav Matona ain't no get. Shom a bow, a bias to be Zaydim, kiss with Shtar Matona, the plony, he timed to get me Shubizoyan who a Haleko. But if it's family, it's a problem. Hear this, that's the question. A husband says, I want you to write a Shtar Matona and give it. So if you say it's bizoyon, that it's a disgrace, because the man is illiterate. One second. Shama baal bezeid kisu shtar maton l'voni or time it get bishu bizoyonu. Hochelek l'mei mahoch shereein olav l'kosvo titnan kabel no sin es aschar im yutsu. Hear this. If I want to give a person a gift, gift you want a gift, you pay the, the scribe's fee, right? The one who wants to receive the gift. Say so if he doesn't write himself, there's no disgrace. So therefore, it's okay. Right. So, so I'd say by matona, shliach could make a shliach. Right. But if you hold the reason is, beca is because it's words cannot be given over. Okay. You can't write a. You can't okay. gift something. No, you can't gift something unless you, you're the husband. I own a piece of property, right? I authorize you to, to write the deed. Okay. Uh, I'm right. <coughs> the deed giving it over to someone else. Right to give it. To the one who owns the land. What about? I authorize you to write the deed, then you, now you want to authorize a third party. You can't. Because you have to be the owner of the property to, 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 for that authorization. But I just gave them the authority to do that. No, if I, as the owner, give them the authority, it's fine. But if, if you, you receive the authorization to pass it on, that you can't pass on the authorization. Okay? Shmuel Maton Hari Kuget, Maton is like get, meaning that it's, it's Milik, and we rule like Shmuel in this thing. Just by get you cannot, maton is like get. The momolo toli himeno chefetz ploni. What about if he says the get is contingent that he has to give you something of value in return? Then the Mishnah says even if he becomes ill, he cannot appoint a shliach. Because he says with so and so I trust that he should take the, the object. It's a Mishnah in uh, a person who borrows is not permitted to lend it out to a third party. I lend you something. Now you want to lend it to a third party. You're not permitted. You I trust, the other person I don't trust. I rent something. I rent the car, now I want to take the car that I'm renting and rent it to a third party. You're not permitted. You I trust, the other person I don't trust. So he says, what you're saying, even the child knows what you're saying. Rabbi Yochanan says to his Tamari Shlokish, El zim digito zimno digito nami lo havig. The naski bishoma lo al tigashen el ele base ele be bias vigirsha balia al tigasha ele be yimin vigirsha be small. He said, "What you're saying is simple. What you're saying that a, a person borrows he can't lend, and person rents he can't rent. Even the child knows that." He says, "What's a chiddush? The chiddush is what about by a get? Elo gitten zimno nami lo havig." The naski mishomalo al tigarshena el bebayis vigishu balia. What about if he says to the shliach, "I want you to divorce her in this location, the entrance, not on the second story. I want you to divorce her with your right hand, not with your left hand." 
כולי עלמא הכד נפקא לאפי, ויאבו לחיפה צור דשאפתי מיני גיטו כולי עלמא לא פליגי. בסדר.